So I was trying to find four young guys that together would create a fifth character, which was the group mind. There were no actors that I felt uh, could play these roles. It had to be real. It had to be what was really going on in the streets. We made Juice independently. It was later bought by Paramount. But we made it as an independent film with independent financing from Island Pictures. I was looking for young actors. I was looking for unknown artists. My casting director interviewed hundreds of kids, maybe even thousands. We went to high schools that are performing arts. We went to neighborhood theater groups. One day, Tretch came in from Naughty by Nature. He auditioned and uh, did a pretty good job because he is in the movie, but he had a, this, this guy that was with him. I said, well, what about you? You want to audition? He said, yeah, sure, why not? So I gave him the sides, originally for Q. So he took the sides and went away and came back and did a pretty good job. But at that time, I pretty much figured I knew who my Q was. I was having a hard time finding Bishop. And I just said to him, hey man, thanks a lot, but can you stay longer and read for this role? And I gave him the sides for Bishop. He went away, came back, did Bishop, did a very good job. I said, okay, what's your name? He said, Tupac. I said, that's an interesting name. What? What is it? He says, it's the name of a Mayan deity. What's your last name? Shakur. And I said, are you any relation to Asada Shakur? He said, yeah, that's my aunt. I said, oh, wow, tell her, how is she? <laughs> you know, because <laughs> she's, you know, a legend. He said, she's okay. And I tell her, I said, hi, and we have your contact info? He said, yeah, okay. He left. As soon as the door closed, we looked at each other. We said, wow, that's him. Now, Tupac at that point was still a background singer and a roadie for the Digital Underground. He was not Tupac. And while we were shooting, he was always writing. He always had a little ringed notebook. And I kind of believe that a lot of what he was writing became some of the music that we listen to today. Mm -hmm.